Hi, my name is Svenja from Layer2. Today I will show you how to use the Layer2 Cloud Connector to synchronize files between a network share and a SharePoint document library. A common scenario is that there are files shared among coworkers through a company network share while also using the Microsoft SharePoint platform to collaborate. In many of those cases, you need to support both ways of sharing files, but it can be time-consuming and error-prone to make sure that both the network drive as well as the SharePoint document library are up-to-date. This is where the Cloud Connector can help you. Here you see our network drive, which I will synchronize files with. As you see, I have different folders, but for now I just want to synchronize the content of my customers folder with the document library and SharePoint. This is the document library I want to link with my customers folder. Now I'm using the layer 2 cloud connector to connect the customer folder on my network share to the document library. I'm using the free shareware edition, which I downloaded right here from the layer 2 website. I already configured one side with a connection string pointing to my company's network share. Note that I have specified the network share using the UNC notation, which consists of two backslashes followed by a server name and the folder path. As you can see, it returns all files that we have seen earlier in the customers folder on my network drive. We will set up the other side of the connection together. For the connection string, I need to copy the address of my SharePoint library. With the URL parameter, I will tell the Cloud Connector where to find my library. I will also need to provide an authentication method by adding the authentication parameter. We will be using the Microsoft Modern Authentication, which will work for most SharePoint online tenants. To perform the authentication, I click on Refresh Token and I get a browser pop-up where I can log in with my Microsoft account and consent to the Cloud Connector accessing my data. In the mapping settings, I just enabled auto mapping so that all the fields that are important for file synchronization, such as the content, name, and path of the file, are automatically mapped for me. Now I go back to the main connection node to start and observe my first manual synchronization run. With the Run Synchronization Toolbox, I can observe the progress. Depending on the size of your library, your first initial sync can take some time. So we will check back later and let the cloud connector run in the background. The synchronization is finished now, and as you can see, my SharePoint library now contains all files of my customers folder. Because I want to allow users to work on either the network share or the SharePoint online library, I will switch from a one-way connection to a two-way connection where files are synced to either system, depending on changes made to them. I can change the synchronization direction in the main connection node. Currently set to sync from left to right, I will now change it to bidirectional. As a final step, I will now enable background scheduling on the same settings page. I want the cloud connector to perform a run every hour. Now I can close the application and the scheduler will keep running in the background updating my files. Great! So this is it for today. I showed you a simple way to connect a network file share to a SharePoint document library and how to keep them up to date. I hope that you enjoyed my video and if so, I would appreciate a comment or a like. You will find further information, such as the connection strings for the connection and the download link for the Cloud Connector in the video description. Thank you and bye-bye.